you get, get out, what yeah. you fucking deserve. Oh, we're not gay, by the way, thank you. That was you done with it, dude. The way to us. I did it. I did it. It's good, you iced coffee. Yeah, got it from society. Society. Oh, well, thank you. Where that came from? Jars, yeah. too. They're doing it in jars. From anyway, society. Society. It's not overused it. They only said society once in the movie. Anyway. They only really did, you know? Everyone was like society when it came out. Everyone was saying society. Anyway, Joker. It's incredible. It totally lives up to the hype. It's amazing. The trailer didn't look good, but then you actually watch it, it's actually really good. I fucking love the trailer. Okay. Well, it looked different in the trailer. It did look different. It kind of looked different. But yeah, yeah. I kind of noticed. Obviously, I think we need to discuss the controversy uh, in this before we really dive into stuff. Um, Is that the rest of the I, I have a suspicion they might have gone back in and edited parts of him saying, like, oh, I don't have any politics, no politics whatsoever. Because. I don't know. But that being said, they do say like, oh yeah, fuck rich people. Uh, Bruce, I think he said like Thomas Wayne is a fascist. There's like a split second. Yeah, Thomas Wayne is a fascist. Yeah, which is kind of like, okay, okay. I don't know that but it's like maybe that was it. Although I still agree with a lot of the messages in this movie. But I mean, um, what do we only want to talk about next? I think this has been blown out of the course. It's a good movie that people like me and to a lesser degree people like you. Can no man to watch it. Enjoy yes, it. someone to watch it. We didn't get shot. No bullet wounds. This is from a previous injury. From society. From so it's from society. Literally. It's literally from society. <laughs> you won't be. It's not gonna happen. Gonna you won't get. It's eye not gonna. Eye eye. Yeah, yeah, I don't think it's gonna happen. Gonna hold it. We're gonna have to like. Oh, actually, I can just. Can I hold it? Yeah, I can. Just... Right, who do you reckon's the best Joker then? Oh, I knew this was gonna come up. It was um, gonna come up. The serial I said. The I think it's this guy. I think it's, I think it's Joaquin. I'm, 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 I didn't like. I'm just, I, yeah, I'm still so sorry with Peter Pledge for the bit, but I know I'm gonna be like. I was only like, because I just recently watched the Dark Knight. So. Yeah, I was super, actually, yeah. It was really good. I did watch a little bit of the Dark Knight um, recently, but I didn't watch the whole thing. Um, I don't know. I think just because you have so much more time with this Joker as opposed to as to as to Ape, but it's not really a Joker. Film. It's called Joker, but there's probably like 10 minutes when uh, he is. Yeah, it's yeah, just about actually, a guy who's going crazy. More of an origin story thing. Yeah, it is. Um, which I love. I think DC has found what it needs to do is like stop trying to copy Marvel. Like I do these like yeah, interesting enough. independent movies like this. Yeah, that well, that's really what's going so well. Is they're independent movies. Yeah. Except for Aquaman, that was shit. <laughs> Aquaman, yeah. Shit. No, no, I just mean, I mean, like Aquaman was like a part of yeah. Justice League and, and that kind of shit. So well, this is its own thing. I, I didn't like Wonder Woman. We're not here to talk about Aquaman or Wonder Woman. Yeah, yeah we have much talking, much more relevant thing to society. Yeah, so hopefully we DC, deserve, we fucking deserve a better movie yeah. than Aquaman. And we got it with this one. I think that girl there is wearing a Hogwarts scarf and like... Where are you? Up there, she walked by. She walks, she's walking up there. I think it's not really one girl. Maybe. Uh, the, the three chunky ones. Not too chunky, but you know. No, I can't see it. Okay, they're gone. Anyway, this isn't relevant to the video. <laughs> this is not relevant no, it's more not like us stalking. But it's like a vlog. Yeah, it's like stalking. We're getting, you know, we don't even need to go see the movie. We just stalk people. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. You just sit here and watch all the people, the happy people going by. And their lives. Their lives. With their lives. Shit. Shit. In the middle of society. <laughs> In society. Okay, but I was like, again, as I said this to you earlier, I was like totally on the edge of my seat. Um, through a lot of this movie, and not in a way that I've ever been like any other comic book film. Cool. And the violence isn't too overblown, it's like there's blood, but it's not super good. It's, it's just it's kind of... Cool. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was an R-rated film. Um, American it wasn't, it would have been R-rated. But this is like, this is a hard one, so yeah, it's not, it's not going to get like an end here. It's yeah. going to get an end, but yeah. So, but I don't think it's like it's not Good super there, right. but the violence is like effective. I think I'll have waiting up there. Oh, thank you, miss. Food for like an entree. It's like three little buns. I had this in the airport in Bali. It seems the same kind of dish. He's got a ton of words, so that was good. Yeah, I love it. I love it. You want to? Do you want to do another take when you're done? <laughs> What you brought up was... Was it all inside his head? Was it all inside his head? I don't think it's... Oh, well, actually... There was some bits were, but you just don't really think so. Well, I think what kind of could tip it that way is at the very end when he's in the mental hospital. 
Yeah, I think that's why he, uh, yeah. the director, I don't know. Well, I was kind of confused by that. I figured, is that like the lady from the start who's his counselor, but she looks like younger? So is this when he well, was in the I'm, hospital? I don't know if he's actually yeah. inside the mental hospital, but he's like from the entire thing. Yeah. And uh, everything that we just saw in the movie was all inside Was just him head. imagining. Yeah, imagining it. Or it was, that was just, he's just in a mental hospital after the events of the film itself. And that's yeah. a different counselor. I, I don't know. I kind of like. I feel like. Oh, okay. Because she, she looks younger, and like Joker breaks out at the end. I figured like this is him when he was mentioned to be in the thing, and he's he's talking to. And she looks like she looks younger, but I think she's meant to be the same woman. She looks like I don't know. Maybe I'm just a racist. I can't tell the difference. But can't tell the difference. All look alike to me. Yeah. They all look the same. Why is he why, why is he going on a date with his, his purpose? What's going on? Why is his purpose sitting in the back of the audience? Why is his purpose on the train? History of slavery, that's what it's like. <laughs> no. I, but anyway, I'm just, I'm pretty sure that lady was, I I think that was his psychiatrist meant to be like younger, and that was him when he was in the hospital, which is mentioned at the start. But then they kind of froze it off when he runs out with like blood on his shoes. Oh, hang on, spoilers, by the way, spoilers. <laughs> we it's spoil a movie much. review, just put it in the it's title. Like two, yeah, it's like, so, yeah, it's like two weeks after the movie came out anyway. So this is like, a, yeah, sure yeah. this is our like in-depth cinematic breakdown of this movie. Um, I don't think it was all in his head. I just think the parts that were so in the his head yeah. were in his head. That's just how I But look at you, Matt Pat, you got to do this. Yeah, Tell us. <laughs> Matt Pat. Shout out to Matt Pat. Matt Shout Pat gets what he fucking deserves. <laughs> a healthy, popular show, because he's a wonderful man. <laughs> <laughs> Someone who only gets like 20 views a video. You get what you fucking deserve. Okay. Matt, I'm not going to shoot you off. I'm not part of the underground terrorist group known as Incel. Um, yeah, but that, that's what I think. Do you, what do you think? Do you think it was all in his head? Or? That's all. Uh, I'm. Sort of well, I don't know exactly. It's just my don't really know. guess. It's my opinion, but I think it was pretty mostly real. Mostly, yeah. And then you could say, oh, okay, is he fantasizing that he escaped and that everyone loves him now and then stuff like that. Um, so you can kind of interpret it how you want. I don't think there's really definitive answers, but for me, it just feels like I, I, as I sat there, okay, this is real, but he's imagining probably a good amount of stuff. But not the whole thing. It's like I've vomited or something on my, while I was lying on the side. <laughs> yeah, you can't really, you can't really see that. I might try to straw bit. Have you seen a taxi driver? No. Have you heard about it? No. Oh. Well, the guy who made this movie basically loved Taxi Driver as a kid. And he was annoyed that he couldn't get a movie like that made today. So he decided to do it about the Joker. And who was in it? Uh, Robert De Niro. Back in the 70s. And it's basically the same thing about a guy who kind of lives in all the city and starts to go crazy. And I was really worried that he would phone it in. Well, he did. He did a decent enough job. Which is, you know, much better than what he usually does in a movie nowadays. And there aren't really any many characters, like, besides um, Arthur. Like, there are other people in the film, but they're kind of just... They're just there, like we didn't only go into them, like it's all focused on him totally. Yeah, I think that was the point. Like, oh, I think, definitely, the, definitely. Don't want to and be too much like a lot of characters, like Billy works, Ed, yeah, yeah, Thomas Wayne, Bruce Wayne. Bruce doesn't, has like barely any lines. Yeah. yeah. And his wife kind of looks like, remember that, um, remember Creed 2? Yeah. Probably don't, but he, oh maybe you do. He, I think the wife looks exactly like the lady who was the Russian dude's wife in that, in Rocky IV. You might not remember because she's a small character, but she looks. She might even be the same actress. She looks exactly like her. Yeah. But anyway, no, you want to know? But oh, damn, I just look familiar. But yeah, no, I mean, everyone else is like everyone's good, but obviously, I mean, he just steals the show totally. He doesn't even. It's, it is his show, and there are other people are in it now. Like, you know. We're left over wedges. You ate like four of them or something. And there's a whole bowl of them. <laughs> That's the whole bowl That's of okay, wedges. That's okay, I'll try it, yeah. We should have just got the bowl of wedges. That would have been enough. <laughs> you didn't know how to spell society, did you? It's S O C Society. Oh, the, e, the I is going to be hard to spell because it's like. Where's the big fat one? We've done it. Great job. Congratulations. Would well, you say when it comes to wedges, you get more than you fucking deserve? I got more than Yeah, you deserve. did, yeah. <laughs> I don't deserve any of those wedges. No. Hello, Mom, hang on. Okay, but anyway.
definitely go see it. You probably already have because it's doing great at the box office, but uh, yeah. <sighs> Till next time, we live in a society and you get what you fucking deserve. <laughs>